scientists have designed a catch and kill air filter which they say can trap the novel coronavirus and neutralize it instantly an invention that may reduce the spread of covid-19 in closed spaces such as schools hospitals and healthcare facilities as well as public transit environments like airplanes according to the study published in the journal materials today physics the device killed 99.8% of the novel coronavirus in a single pass through its filter it said the device made from commercially available nickel foam heated to 200 degrees celsius also killed 99.9% of the spores of the deadly bacterium Bacillus anthracis which causes the anthrax disease The researchers said they are developing a desktop model for the device which is capable of purifying the air in an office worker's immediate surroundings. According to the scientists, since the virus can remain in the air for about 3 hours, a filter that could remove it quickly was a viable plan and with businesses reopening across the world, they believe controlling the spread in an air-conditioned spaces was urgent. The study noted that the novel coronavirus cannot survive temperatures above 70 degrees Celsius, so by making the filter temperature far hotter, about 200 degrees Celsius, the researchers said they were able to kill the virus almost instantly. but they added that nickel foam also had low resistivity making it difficult to raise the temperature high enough to quickly kill the virus by making the filter electrically heated rather than heating it from an external source they said the amount of heat that escaped from the filter is minimized allowing air conditioning to function with low strain when the scientists built and tested a prototype for the relationship between voltage current and temperature they said it satisfies the requirements for conventional heating ventilation and air conditioning systems and could kill the coronavirus this filter could be used in airports and in airplanes in office buildings schools and cruise ships to stop the spread of covid-19 said zifeng ren a co-author of the study from the university of houston in the united states a toi online report